here 10 months, I haven't seen any traditional instruments at all. So this is very special. Places, this music has disappeared already or there are very few people who know songs and so part of the aim is the preservation of the music itself. My name is Arthur Rathbone. I've come to Zambia to record a CD with a name to promoting the music and selling it. 85% of the profits from those CDs go back to the musicians and their communities. It's something I've done for some time now. I've made a lot of field recordings in Kenya of traditional tribal music. You never really know what you're going to get. You walk into a place, you ask people if they know musicians, and it's surprising how many people do. You ask someone, they say, I know this guy plays this instrument, and you run off to find them. You still don't know what it's going to be until you get there. People aren't shy in the same way. I mean, I don't know if it's a bigger heart, but it's certainly a more open culture. We had a really good day yesterday, yeah. found two really good groups. We may have some gospel lined up, um, maybe a bit of traditional drumming. But, uh, you never know what you're going to get until it arrives. So I'm making these drums to be ready. Another way of tuning the drum. To get access to these villages is difficult. This is very special. Basically setting up a small recording studio in here. Uh, we've got a mic on each instrument and uh, trying to get the best detailed sound we can. It's the bare bones of my recording studio, put in a case and brought out, and obviously sticks for uh, microphone stands and that kind of stuff. As well as potential financial benefits um, uh, that will help people you know, make a sustainable source of income through their music or through their culture, the other important thing is the preservation of the music in the culture and not the preservation of the music in libraries or, or kept locked away but revived and, and used in, in day to day life. That was excellent, thank you.